Now we don't have a special session, a special speech by our uh, president. But you all know the president is the uh, is a very active Toastmaster and a pioneer of uh, our last speech club, which uh, we had uh, taken up through the club social responsibility, which was held at the place. I've seen him so much dedication towards the students who are there at the BSF. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together to welcome our Dr. President Jules. Let me stand in spotlight. <laughs> 1857 to 1947. This 90 years of journey was not smooth. Thousands, ten thousands lost their lives. Even a group of nations which are fighting against each other. Different political ideologies, different religious background. Still, we emerged as a great country. Just are we willing to accept ourselves as a great developed country? Today in this juncture, I want to read out the opening statements of Mission 2020 speech by Dr. A.P.J. Kala. I have three visions for India. In 3,000 years of history, people from all over the world came and attacked our nation. From Alexander onwards, the Greeks, the Mughals, the Turks, Portuguese, Dutch, and English, they all came, attacked us, and took what belonged to us. Yet, we have not attacked any of this nation. We never defeated any of them. Why? Because we respect freedom. We respect the freedom of others. That is why my first vision for our, for our country is freedom. India got this vision of freedom <coughs> when we started our war for independence for the first time in 1857. If we are not a free nation, no one will respect us. My second vision for this country is development. For 50 years we have been a developing nation. Now it is time that we have to accept ourselves as a developing, developed nation. In terms of GDP, we are one of the top five nations of the world. Our poverty levels are poverty. <coughs> Yet we are not willing to accept ourselves as a developed, self-reliant nation. Is it not wrong? I have a third vision. India must stand up to the world. I believe that unless India stands up to the world, no one will respect us. Only strength will respect strength. We must be strong not only as a military power, but also as an economic power. In Hyderabad, a 14-year-old girl asked me for my autograph. I asked her, what is her ambition? She told me, I want to live in a developed India. For her, you and I have to develop this. You and I have to provide this developed India. It is high time we should proclaim to the world that India is a developed Abdul Kalam stops, concludes its speech with this statement quoted from John F. Kennedy's speech. Ask what we can do for our country, not what our country can do us. Let us make India what America and other Western countries are today. Let us do what India needs from us. Dear friends, 
look to our neighbors. How many times democracy was crushed under the boots of a country <coughs> vagina on both our sides? Look to our west. Till beyond the edge of the African continent, we don't have this freedom. Look to the north. Till the edge of Russia, we don't smell this fresh beer. The same thing as no freedom of expression in the news. Even in the south, history, the story is not different. Let us all stand up as a mark of respect to the great leaders who have made this possible to us so that we and our future generation can enjoy a free country.